Taurus, welcome to Illuminated Tarot. My name is Jenna. Today I'm going to be doing your reading for the next three months. We're going to take a look at November, December, and January. What's going to be coming up in, at the end of this year and into the beginning of the new year. We're also going to take a look at what you don't see coming and get some important advice from Spirit. Okay, let's pull the energy down. This is for all Taurus placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Cross watchers, you are welcome here. Please only take what resonates, okay? Reverse the rules as needed. Okay. Thank you for tuning in. All right. We're also going to get into a very unique oracle message that's pre-shuffled. I love your message. You're going to have a huge breakthrough in your understanding and your consciousness over the next three months. Massive, massive energy coming your way. We're going to get into that more in more detail in a minute. Let's thank first the non-physical realm of spirit for overseeing this reading for the sign of Taurus. All right. Recent past, the hanged man. Okay. We've been pausing, reflecting. Ooh, opportunity over the next three months. I'm telling you, breakthrough. Break on through. I hear that do door song. Four of Pentacles in the near future. Okay. So definitely holding on to something uh, We'll see what that is. Be holding on to your person because it's going to get cold here in North America. Ooh, the world. Your challenge is maybe to uh, open up into this whole new vibration, right? And this breakthrough. Okay, overall energy. King of Cups. Definitely um, coming from an emotionally mature place and your dealings with others is going to come in handy. And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, the Ten of Pentacles. All right, done. <laughs> wow, Taurus. I'm loving this reading. This is looking very, very, very stable, solid, good, happy, loving. Um, but first, before we go into um, clarifying these cards for the tarot, we're going to go into your herbal ally. Okay, so I am an herbalist. I love plants. They are our greatest teachers on this planet. Um, you have one of my favorite herbs of all time. Um, and this isn't me recommending you go out and take this, okay? Some of you might feel guided to do that. Listen to your own intuition. I'm not doing a health history on anyone here, obviously. This is for the collective. So the collective Taurus energy is now going through a breakthrough through Ginkgo. As you can see, this resembles the Ace of Swords, the clarity of sight, right? gaining more consciousness. This is about the dawn of a new mind, right? This is about new ideas, being visionary, you know, visionary thinking, right? Um, having that mental acuity, that clarity. Ginkgo is a very resilient tree. It is one of the oldest living tree species in the world. Some of the fossils date back up to 200 million years old. Isn't that incredible? That, <laughs> so this, this tree, has withstood millions of years on this planet, right? It's seen a lot come and go. So um, in it, that in itself symbolizes strength, resiliency, right? Overcoming all odds to survive, right? So let this be metaphorical for your own life, okay? Um, this are typically is ruled by Mars. As we know, it's the planet of action. It represents strength, courage, endurance, right? These are all about you, your primal energy, your survival, right? Taking action. So Taurus, you've been deeply rooted in this energy in your lifetime, and you will be deeply rooted in it moving forward, okay? So this is the sort of truth that this hand is clutching, right? You see that? Take a look at that. It's signaling a moment of breakthrough. It's a double-edged sword, right? And it's circled by a gold crown, symbolizing the victory of transcendence over illusion. So we have the raven, right? And ginkgo as ancient guardians of the earth. They symbolize the strength and resilience required to protect the ethereal realm. You are a great protector of this earth, okay? Which is, the ethereal realm is the source of magic and wonder. So, you have these ancient roots, right? You know, I, what was it that got um, dragon's blood? Leo. So spirit wants you to know that this is your birthright. This is the energy you carry in your soul's blueprint, right? That you can access from other lifetimes. And we're getting really esoteric here. But this is ancient, ancient knowledge, okay? So use it wisely. This is why you have survived so much, so much, why you have so much resilience that sometimes you're like, I don't even know how, where it comes from, okay? So this appears, right? 
as a sign that you're about to experience a total breakthrough, a revolutionary change in consciousness over the next couple of months. So remember this as you're going through all these changes, right? Your consciousness is shifting and growing and expanding. How about that? Okay. How about that? This is why I love plants. I love plants. In fact, the last time I saw a ginkgo was in Asheville because they're rare. And I climbed that tree and I sat in that tree. <laughs> and my friends, it was like, we went to this obscure like diner. It was like in the middle of nowhere. And there was a ginkgo right outside of it. And I was like, oh, I was so drawn to it. I had to get in it. Um, anyway, just a side note. Uh, yeah. Clarity. Clarity. The sword of truth, which is a double-edged sword. And you may have seen the truth about a lot of the heartbreak that you've had to endure. All right. King of Cups, definitely, um, I feel like you've really, really gotten to a place in your heart, right? Where you, ooh, sorry, that's my, did you hear that? That's my stomach. Oh my God. Sorry. Almost lunchtime. I, I said, should I do this before lunch? Should I do it after? And I just decided I would do yours before lunch. All right. The Emperor, the King of Cups, double. Damn. That's powerful. That's powerful. It's like you've taken control of a, of your own fears. I'm getting a more of a fear. And it could have to do with some heartbreak, right? The overall energy is you are you are like it's like your your heart is being broken open, right? And I'm not getting this from another person, Taurus. I'm getting this by the universe. The universe is breaking you open. We have two king of cups here. This also is an indication that the experiences that you've gone through in life have broken your heart open and your capacity to still be loving even surprises you. Because a lot of people who go through heartbreak and loss, it you get shut down in your heart. And you, it's like your superpower. You've taken your heartbreak and it's become your superpower. Wow. You become stronger as a result. And you become more emotionally mature. You're showing me how much you've learned. And you're going to take that knowledge into this next chapter. And that is your breakthrough right there. Because you're going to start to realize in this reading, if you come here today, you were realizing, oh my God, I've overcome a hell of a lot. And I, I am like, you're stepping into your power. Full stop. Your power, Taurus, is to be a leader, a compassionate leader in this world. But you're leading through the heart. That's your compassion. That's your empathy. Your heartbreak has, has opened up your empathy towards others, and it will continue to do that. It, it's already happened, but you are in the process of this transmutation. And your capacity to lead from a place of empathy and compassion is why this happened. If you're like, why did I have to go through all this? Because you are going to lead now through compassionate leadership from an open heart space. All right. People are pulling big energy today. Big, big, big lessons. The collective is evolving, y'all. Evolving. I love it. I love it. It's no coincidence that I had to go through my own evolution before I could even be here the last couple of months. I just started this channel in, in July. And um, it's time for people to really step into what they came here to do. All right. I'm here to remind you of that. You're more powerful than you realize in this world as a creator. All right, recent past, the Knight of Wands, the Queen of Swords, and the Two of Cups. Yeah, I do think that you were, um, in the recent past, You, I think you may have had um, someone come into your life who there was a lot of passion. You may have been a little bit logical, over, overly logical about, about it, right? But in the end of the day, it's like, you allowed yourself to fall for this person, okay? There might have been a lot of fear around opening up, but you also might have taken a time out from someone who was in and out of your life, who you had to put up some healthy boundaries. Now, that's the re recent past. Let's see what's going on with this person now. This is starting to turn into a love reading, Taurus. I know you've been battling some stuff, 
in your heart space. I've been reading, if I can recall, some of your previous readings here. You have a lot more clarity. You've definitely been pausing in a love situation because someone was was not certain. They were coming, coming and going. And this could be you dating. I really see you overcoming a lot in your heart space over the next couple of months. I don't know which way these fell, so we're going to put them back. I'm sorry. All right. You could be coming out of a place of restriction, though. Saying no to something. Despite the love. What's your opportunity? Open up into happiness here. Happy, happy. Ooh, yeah. Yep. I love it. Okay. This could be you meeting somebody new in this chapter. Your opportunity is to move forward. All right? You might be feeling guarded. All right? Around your heart space. But you have a loving, I mean, two king of cups. Jeez. This is towards self and towards another. I do believe that out of this new situation that's coming your way, Taurus, um, it's almost like you're going to be deepening in your heart space because of their love. You're going to be giving yourself more self-love. They're going to be a really healthy mirror for you, I'm seeing. Because in the sun here, clarifying it, we have the six of pentacles. I mean, look at this. This is about equal give and take. This is about teamwork makes the dream work, right? Coming together, communicating, opening up, and being happy. You're giddy. You're skipping down the street giddy this is the sound of music the hills are alive taurus you are definitely feeling happy your opportunity is to be happy that's your opportunity over the next couple months because you're going through a breakthrough in your own consciousness you may be calling this in or you may be dealing with somebody who you've overcome some difficulty with if this is someone you are in a commitment with and you came here already in a commitment today and you were worried about this commitment I do see so much happiness coming towards you. You guys are going to be communicating and like sharing the love, just pouring into each other's cups. Just, I love you. I know I love you more. No, I love you. I love you more. Uh, so much love. So much love. All right. This challenge though, is you were definitely closing out a chapter and this doesn't mean you're leaving anybody. You could have, but this is about coming into a whole new vibration, coming into a deeper alignment with self. And I believe in a relationship too, either a new one or an existing one. Yes, your dreams are coming true. Ah, I love it. Your dreams are coming true. Your dreams are coming true. This is whatever you're calling in in this new chapter, your challenge. What a challenge, huh? This is a tough challenge for you. I don't know if you can do it. Can you do it, Taurus? Your challenge is to take this love opportunity and shove it. No, and enjoy it. Enjoy it. This is something that you've manifested. You've been manifesting a stable love offer, a stable love connection, or bringing stability into your love bond. And it's happening right before your very eyes. Your challenge is, can you accept this challenge of being in love with someone and stabilizing it and having it feel like a deep, deep wish fulfillment? I don't know if you could do it. Can you do it? Towards I'm being cheeky. This is beautiful stuff. This is going to be a happy period for you. I love to see it. You've done a lot of work on yourself. You've earned this, right? And if you've been really, really trying to course correct a situation and someone was a little bit uncertain, you got a brand new loving chapter coming up. Let's see the near future and what you don't see coming. Near future, four of pentacles. Four of pentacles. This is clinging to something. Holding on. I'm holding on to you. You holding on to me. Yeah, it seems like to the near future... You're still a little bit in this hangman energy around this love bond, right? Maybe, you know, you've been waiting on things to kind of either you're waiting on this new person to show up and you're like, damn it, I'm ready, right? They're coming. You're putting a lot of work waiting. I think most of you, you've been waiting on a love opportunity. You've been patient, right? You've been holding on to your energy. You're ready to give it, ready to bring it, right? Ready to attract that healthy partner. Doing a lot of work on yourself, right? pausing, reflecting, waiting for their ship to arrive, right? That golden opportunity in love. It is coming. And if this is an existing connection, you both are being patient as you do the work on your relationship to course correct, right? And stepping into a brand new vibration together as a couple. So I see nothing but good things, Taurus, coming up. Look at that. Ten of Pentacles, the confirmation. You are going, you are on your way towards, this is long-term stability, long-term um wealth, long-term financial goals. This is not an energy that we can sustain, but it's an energy that we work towards, strive toward, and know it can happen, and know we can live it and be it and dream it, right? 
So what you don't see coming is you're going to go into this new chapter, right? Wish fulfillment, stable love situation, right? Happy home, happy life, potential marriage, family life, everything good. Everything good. I love these kind of readings. Double confirmation of financial security and abundance. I love this. What you don't see coming is pure happiness. So happy. Taurus, I love this for you because I think that you've, you're you going through a breakthrough over the next few months. It's a breakthrough. You're like, this is unbelievable. I can't believe my luck. All right. This wanted to fall out. This keep, these fell out before. So, all right. We're going to talk about this. I think you've been slowly waiting on this situation. You, you have, you've been feeling maybe trapped, like nothing's going to go my way, Jenna. I don't believe you. Some of you are going to see this and say, I don't believe you. You're one of those terror raiders. It's going to give me good, good, like juju. And it's not going to happen. This is you overcoming your doubt, right? If you are in a block place and you're having a hard time believing and attracting what you want, this is confirmation that it's time to come out of that trap feeling and believe in the impossible because anything is possible but you first must believe okay you are not trapped by your past you are not trapped you have been broken open for a reason in your past experiences and it's time to let more light in right this is your breakthrough all right clarify the ten of pentacles that just had to be said if it feels right go toward it if it doesn't shoot it down okay this is all about you trusting each step you take in the next couple of months okay believe in your capacity to know what's right for you ten of pentacles four of pentacles four of wands four of cups this is the balance right when you come into a relationship spirit wants you to know and then what you don't see coming is that nothing is perfect all right you may be scared right i think there's fear because you're worried, right? Can I, I really believe this is you overcoming your doubts and your fears about long-term love commitment, right? Trusting in another person is hard, right? You might feel a tendency to kind of like want to pull back your energy here. What you don't see coming is that this is going to stabilize whatever situation you're in, whether you're calling in a new situation or you're dealing with a, a situation that you feel like you've had to put up boundaries, that you've been disappointed for some reason in the long term here. There is stability here. In between, the stability is right smack dab in the center, clarifying the Ten of Pentacles. And we had a double confirmation of the Ten of Pentacles. This could have to do, too, with your work life, with not feeling content, satisfied. You putting in a lot of hard work into your work life, waiting to see more money. Show me the money. Where's the money, Jenna? So this is about you taking control of your career and really expanding and having a breakthrough in your income, okay? So whatever disappointment you have around creating your own stability is going to shift and change, but it's not a perfect ride, okay? Nothing is a perfect ride. So you're gonna have days of doubt, you're gonna have your days of stress and worry, all right? But you need to believe that stability is possible, long-term stability, and long-term financial security is possible. You are breaking through in your awareness of what you can create, okay? Let's get some advice from Spirit. This is pre-shuffled, but they said shuffle once. And then we're going to get in a gentle reminder for the next three months. All right. We're doing good on time. Trying to stay around the 20-minute mark. Did you guys have things to do? Yep. Their advice. You've got a King of Cups. I'm telling you, someone has hurt you. For those of you that are going through a lot of pain and you're thinking about leaving a situation, but you're, you're feeling like, but I have financial security, but I'm not getting my emotional needs met and you're in love with somebody. Um, this is about you recognizing whether or not you want to continue with this person. Okay. That you're in a brand new chapter. Okay. You were overcoming the pain of the past and you were opening yourself up into a new opportunity. For those of you that are leaving a situation, you need to understand you're leaving it to, to knowing that it's not right for you so you can call on what is, okay? But I also believe that this is about you overcoming the pain of your past and opening up into a new opportunity. You are in a brand new chapter. You are breaking through. You're calling in the love of your life, okay? 
or you're deepening the love and overcoming past wounds, past hurts, all right? And it's not always easy. This is the ups and the downs, right? But seeing it through, staying the course, right? Believing in what you've created, all right? I do see an opportunity for happiness and I do see a new love offer for those of you who were wondering about new love. And I also see people who were trying to overcome pain, okay? You are going to overcome it, right? But you have to really, really love self. This is you loving self, okay? And drawing those healthy boundaries, okay? And coming out of a place of restriction in the next two months, three months, okay? This is the this is the time to be honest, right? And it's you were having a, a victory over some sort of illusion here, okay? That either happiness, stability is not for me, it's impossible, or that we just can't get there in a love connection. Because I do believe that this, I'm not seeing a reconciliation. I'm seeing new love and um, the healing of an existing love and redoing the repair work on a relationship so you guys can rebuild, okay, from a stable, more stable found place to create a more stable foundation, okay? Your gentle reminder for the next three months is try your best to trust the answers that live within you. You know best ultimately, right? Ultimately, you are the great decider, right, of your own life. You have your own free will, so use it. Exercise sound judgment. You are gaining a new level of ancient awareness, consciousness. Let that guide you forward so you can make the best decisions to bring about long-term security, okay, and financial abundance. It's all yours for the taking, Taurus, okay? So get out there and grab it, all right? I'll see you in the next one.